Hundreds of police officers have closed in on protesters in central London as demonstrations entered a fifth day. So far, nearly 700 people have been arrested. Protesters want to raise awareness of climate change and are demanding a drastic speeding up of the government's plan to cut carbon emissions. But many argue that their target is unrealistic. Sangeeta Maiska reports. Following five days of disruption, the police began the work of removing the pink boat. The rallying point for climate change protesters in the heart of the UK's busiest shopping district, Oxford Circus. Earlier today, a thousand police officers had poured onto London's streets, drafted in to end the climate change protests that have brought parts of the capital to a standstill. The Home Secretary says he expects the police to use the full force of the law to end the disruption. It is certainly different to the, the sort of protest we're used to, and of course, we are we are an organisation that learns, and we will we will debrief this uh, operation once it's finished, and we will learn what works and what didn't work. And so, if groups choose to take this approach again in the future, will be far better ways to deal with it um, more swiftly, I think. The Waterloo Bridge, a stone's throw from Parliament, it's a game of cat and mouse. Campaigners are lifted and removed by officers. Some to return hours later to do the same again. In five days, nearly 700 arrests and no end in sight. So I've come out to do my bit. Um, we're going to come back on Monday and we'll be getting arrested again and probably maybe locking on here again or doing whatever's necessary until the government's prepared to speak with us. Today in France, officers used very different tactics. At the French bank, Société Générale, Police use pepper spray to remove climate change protesters who blocked employees from getting into work. Back at Oxford Street, retailers claim the disruption has cost them millions of pounds in lost trade, but campaigners say it's a price worth paying until their calls for radical government action to combat climate change are acted on. Samitha Maiska, BBC News.